Okay, we're supposed to find the exact value for the cosine of half the angle that has a sine of 3 eighths. Okay, and what we're going to end up using is this half angle formula for cosine. Notice that there's a plus or minus here. You choose the plus or the minus depending on the quadrant uh, in which the angle is going to end up in. So if we let theta equal this angle right here, the angle that has a sine of 3 eighths, then we can rewrite this expression like this, cosine of 1 half theta, where theta is the angle that has a sine of 3 eighths. Uh, but the cosine half an angle looks like this. Once we've got that, we've got to be able to fill in that value right there. And this is where a little diagram helps. The angle that has a sine of 3 eighths is going to be in the first quadrant, opposite of hypotenuse. So to find the length of the adjacent leg, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. Hypotenuse squared minus one of the legs squared, take the square root. So the square root of 55. And that's what I have to substitute. Oh, I'm sorry. The so the cosine of that angle, or this is theta, is the square root of 55 over 8, which is what I put right here. Now you could leave the answer like that. And by the way, since uh, this angle, theta, is in the first quadrant, half that angle is still going to be in the first quadrant. Uh, but if you want to, to make this look a little better, you could multiply top and bottom of the big fraction by 8. That's called simplifying a complex fraction. So we get 8 plus the square root of 55 over 16. But we can take the square root of the 16, which is in the denominator. So there's your answer right there, the exact value. And here's sort of proof that that's the case. Here's the angle that has a sine of 3 eighths. Cosine of half that angle is that. There's the expression we came up with, same value. And here's the original problem, same value. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.